Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. I've learned many important lessons since I've got sober and I continue to learn. But without doubt, the most important one that you'll need if you want to get sober or stay sober, there's no doubt about it, is what the title of this video suggests, learning to live life on life's terms. In this video, I want to explain what that means and how it doesn't just benefit people who are in sobriety or trying to stay sober and get sober, but would benefit everybody. First of all, if my videos help you in any way and you feel like you'd like to show the channel a little support, please take a couple of seconds to click on the Kofi link in the description. Have a quick read of how you can do that. I'd be really, really grateful. Thank you very much. So living life on life's terms, it's a lesson. I didn't really understand what it was to start with, but it's a lesson I continue on a daily basis to try and learn, if you like. And I don't think I'll ever perfect it. I don't think any of us ever will. But if we become aware of it and what it actually truly means, our lives will become much more peaceful and serene um, and happy, if you like. Um, and you'll find it much easier if you stop fighting with life. So for many years, whilst I was in addiction to the various substances I was in addiction with, I fought with life. You know, if people didn't behave exactly the way that I wanted or expected them to behave, didn't live up to my expectations, it would create anger and resentment within me. I couldn't understand um, why they weren't living as I expected them to live or behaving as I expected them to behave. If certain things, you know, didn't live up to my expectations, certain places, then I would get frustrated and angry and fight with life. And I would never accept it. You know, I wouldn't accept life as it came along. I was constantly in this battle, you know, because... It never lived up to any of my expectations. And I think many of us are like this because our expectations are unrealistic, really. Because life will just happen to you, doesn't it? I mean, it just, there's great things that happen in life and wonderful, happy, marvellous things. It's, it it's truly is a precious gift we have. But there are also frustrating, niggly, horrific, traumatic things that happen to us in life. And to stay sober, we have to learn to accept things as they are and not how we want them to be. And how do you do that? The first thing you have to realise is that most things in our lives, most things that are presented to us and that happen to us are beyond our control. Certainly people's, other people's behaviour is beyond our control. You know, we only have control over our own thoughts and actions and how we respond to things that happen to us, how we respond to other people's behaviour. That's within our control. It can be affected by outside events, definitely, but is within our control. But how people behave and what they do, not only is it none of our business, it's none of our business what people think of us, you know, and that's another one to get a handle on. You know, you know what people think of us is, you have to just let that go. We have no control over that. We have no control how they behave. You know, if we let them upset us or disrupt our mentality, make us angry and resentful and fearful or and anxious, then it's going to affect our sobriety and we're going to end up reaching for a drink or a drug um, because it'll just build up and build up and build up. We have to let go of all that. We have to let go of control. Just the same as when events happen. I mean, I've been um, lucky enough to meet a lot of people on the way quite recently who are going through horrendous stuff in their sobriety. They're going through, you know, and I'll use a few examples. Some of them, uh, one of them is terminally ill. One of them is going through horrific marriage breakup and divorce, a very bitter one, you know, uh, all sorts of things. Another guy I know is, be is being made homeless, but they're all taking it in their stride. Yes, it's uncomfortable to sit with those feelings. Yes, it's difficult, it's bloody hard. But their number one priority is their sobriety. 
So they just have to accept things as they are. With me next week is a massive event, my court case. I talked about it in the last video, which I'll link to this one. Um, it's going to change my life. But I have to see that as exciting. Yes, I'm fearful and anxious that my life's going to change and be disrupted. Of course I am. I wouldn't be human if I wasn't. However, I have to accept it for what it is. It's just life happening around me. And I accept things as they are, not how I want them to be. And just go with the flow um, and become excited about, about where life's going to be taking me next. Um, and it's the same with any great change in your life or disruption in your life. It's just a new path that life's taking you down and you just have to accept it for what it is and, and just go with it. But nothing, nothing is more important than your sobriety. It has to be your number one priority. And you will continue to learn to live life on life's terms probably for the rest of your life. But it is the most important lesson, one you have to become aware of very early in sobriety because life will happen around you and you know in the past it has driven me into relapse there's no doubt about it because I've not accepted things and I've, I've become angry and confused and fearful and all the rest of those feelings that we don't like to feel and it's taken me backwards don't let that happen to you let go of control and accept things as they are I hope that's been useful to you. Please click on the Kofi link if you want to support the channel. Carpe diem, my friends. Seize the day today. Stay strong. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.